I hope you're ready. We're about to be transforming a very simple villager house into what hopefully will be a very, very cool looking inn or tavern. I think I will call it a tavern. In my mind, it's a tavern. So let's go with the tavern. I don't even know what the difference between those are, but that, that's what we'll go for. And, and villagers, you're free. Be free. Wonderful. Uh, how's everybody doing, by the way? Welcome back again to our, our single player world, which it is always good to have you guys all around here. Uh, so what I've been doing in between this episode and the last one is I've, I've been thinking about some cool ideas and I think it's about time it's uh, out with the old and in with the new being a, a few new blocks and and a few new super cool shaped village houses and stuff like that and one thing I was thinking about was how do I make this house which we are currently demolishing how to make this a little bit prettier and, and make it something that will at least at least have some merit to this place and I think the way we do it is by transforming it out away from a house and into an inn, which is is oh, dang it tavern tavern that's the one. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that a million times this episode. I hope you guys are ready for it. In fact, uh, maybe maybe someone can enlighten me on the difference between an inn and a tavern. But it's right. It's it's not it's not a, a big deal. I guess an inn probably. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little guess of my own. I'm gonna guess it's probably got something to do with uh, a tavern being like a place to just eat and stuff and uh, get some drink and. An inn is a place you stay, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm honestly guessing. That's it. Uh, so that's what we've got planned for today. Uh, so it's a little bit of building. Well, tearing down, building, and exploring, and then tearing down again. Actually, what is... That's cooked. That's cooked. That's raw. And uh, doing a little bit of exploring, and then some more building. So uh, we've, we've got a pretty jam-packed day ahead of us. And we've also, by the way, got some, some cool things from our fishing, but nothing too cool to report home on just yet. But... It, it's coming, I'll tell you that much. It's uh, it's on its way, for sure. So here we go. Let's let's oh the jungle tree's grown. Let's discuss what our thoughts are today. So there is a little bit of a building trick that I'm going to be using here, which I mean it's nothing it's nothing amazing, but it's something that I think a lot of people could potentially uh, find quite useful. In fact, for people who who like to do interiors to their places, who find that their places generally are a little bit too small for interiors, I, I think we could we could find some cool stuff here and I'm just gonna get rid of this tree so while we're doing it we can hopefully get another jungle sapling by the way this tree took forever to grow it's it's really just been sitting here that sapling waiting for it and hopefully we'll just get even just one sapling because else I've got to go all the way back to get get some more uh, but here we go what I'm thinking is we're gonna have a reasonably similar size over here with a real neat roof and then I want to have it going up a bit as well I don't know if we want to do it on one side in the middle on this side Either way, I think it'll add a lot more to this area as we go on. By the way, uh, this this place is going to all be transformed. So any of these houses that you guys don't like, you guys can put them on a list of, of houses that are going to be changed and, and things that will not be the same. I'll guarantee you that much. What do you have, by the way? Nothing really too spectacular. That's all right. In fact, I've, I've been thinking a lot about recently about just adds things to add to the game because very often people people ask me what I what I would want to see in the game and I always say more passive mobs just because I feel like a passive mob really it, it'll be hard for a passive mob to hurt the the style of the game you know like a cool uh, I always think like a mountain goat would be awesome or, or just some some deer walking around tiger biomes or something like that would be really neat but that, that's beyond my point. My, what, what I was actually thinking about more recently, I'm, it's sort of related to that, but not really, uh, in terms of passive mobs, was getting some cool pa new villages, being passive mobs realistically, but getting some cool villages I, I think would be awesome. There's, there's a few things that I've been thinking about that would, would really add on to the village. In fact, let's just have a look at that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that as well. Uh, a few things that would be cool to have in in terms of a villager, I reckon would be something like a, uh, I guess a, an apothecary. And, and I I was thinking about this because there's no villager that does potions. And I the what made me think about it was to create a witch from striking a villager with lightning, which I think is actually one of these uh, adventure here. Uh, strike a villager with lightning which creates a witch. And I thought that would be really cool. If you could make a villager into a witch and then bring it back or something, could have some cool potions. That would be kind of cool. But but those are just some of the, the thoughts. That along with maybe like an armor repairman or a tailor, you could call it, to, to make the armor better. There's just so many little things. And honestly, I've just been thinking about it recently just as, as to if it would break the game or not. Now, I feel like they really wouldn't break the game. They wouldn't make the game too easy, I, I hope. I, I mean, obviously balancing the trades would be pretty cool, but... 
just in general, for, for someone who wants to play on a, a place like, say, a survival island, who doesn't want to go very far, you could really, if you could get villagers, you could play the game with a lot of blocks by just bartering for blocks, which would be, I think, pretty neat. I mean, even, even like a, a lumberjack to get wood and saplings and stuff like that would be rather cool. Okay, there we go. That, that's, a, that's a good start, all right? Bear with me. Bear with me here. It's looking a little bit different now, but most importantly is just a little bit of a tip you can get here, which is it's kind of obvious in some way, but sometimes it just doesn't appear as, as obvious as it should be, is just getting these little bits and pieces laid out of any build will help you out so much. If you ever find you're getting a little bit lost in the build itself, just putting in the, the framework tends to help me out a lot. And, and of course, now what we're going to go ahead and do is also get onto the roof, which is the other thing that's got some really cool framework, is getting these edge pieces of, of the roof. This is like my tip of the day, all right? Getting these little edge pieces of the roofing and working out your roof sometimes helps out the rest of the build, because there's, there's a, quite a few other things in the build that rely on you knowing where the roof positioning is, and if you if you don't get that right, you, you get a little bit lost, at least if you're me. So that's what I like to do. Now, what I want to do is I want to just work out something that could potentially uh, look pretty good on the roof. Can I get rid of that? There we go. And we'll, we'll just get these because, in fact, I'm not, I'm not too wealthy right now in this world just yet. So we don't have many, many blocks working for us. But I've got some idea of what we want to do with this roof because, well, of course, we just did a roof fairly similar to this uh, on this house over here. So I, I want to just work it out. So if we go down there, uh, yeah, it could work. Yeah. All right, well, we'll give that a try. It seems like I might be going a little bit low, uh, but yeah, we'll give it a go. So that's our, our first part. We want to just get a, an interesting shaped roof. And now what I also want to do, by the way, I'll, I'll work on the roof. Uh, I like outside of this. It's a, it's a completely different thing. Uh, I also want to maybe change up these ones here to, or maybe even the top one. Who knows? We'll, we'll see how they go. I, I'll, I might, I'll, I'll have to look. But we might change one of them up to a bit of spruce because I found having a particular palette in a city or a village, when they all start looking exactly the same, it starts taking away from it. So I want to start by getting some different sorts of, of woods in here before we go any further. Now, here is where our adventure comes from because, of course, the destruction and uh, tearing down of this is done. Putting these in, and I know you're saying, Jensen, you're crazy, but a lot of people know where I'm going with this. There we go. That's where I'm going with this. I was having a look at these blocks because many people told me you got to try the coral blocks. Actually, cool. There we go. My silk touch pickaxe team seems to do the trick. Do the trick, and I don't want to test it out with anything else. So we've only got seven of those because when we went to exploring, I didn't really take a lot. I didn't know which ones were worthwhile, but it appears that what is this? The I think it's like the red fire or something. Something amazing. Red a dead fire coral block. It sounds sounds very exciting. Uh, I want to use some of these, because have a look at that. That's got such an interesting texture. And I think once we get something like that, and we can maybe even cut it off, let's do something around these, like this sort of a thing, just like that, to, to have a, a place where we can cut it off. We'll we'll keep that as our piece. I want to do an entranceway with that. It's just so it, it gets this really homely feel. So for that, you know what that means. We're going to go and get in our boat, and we're traveling. Now, as you can imagine, it was so super exciting to be getting this red... What is it? Red, I've already forgotten. Red fire coral block. That's it. I, and, and I know it seems like I've just forgotten it. Bear in mind, there's a bit of time between this <laughs> and before. But I do recall that I had just said it. Uh, so what I decided to do is I decided to put in the roof, get this going. Just because, of course, I want to show you guys everything that's going on here. The roof, no matter how good I am at explaining it, it's, it's just not going to be explainable. There's just something about roofs in general that are, are just so difficult to explain. When they, when they start getting complicated, you're like, all right, so put this uh, stair block in this direction. Maybe add in a slab to the other side and then put in the slab at the next level. You know, that, like, that's super exciting, as, as I'm sure you guys are well aware of, but not my kind of, uh, my kind of a video. <laughs> so uh, that, that was why I just thought, you know what, I'll slap the roofs on. It's kind of like a step ahead, and then we're going to run back, but it doesn't really matter. Normally, normally you'd put the walls up and then the roof for uh, obvious reasons, but it's all right. We, we, we do things a little bit differently in this place. So let's just get this on, and I want to, I want to do a bit of wall decorating here because there, there is a lot of cool stuff we can do with this wall, for sure. And, uh, and I'd like to give it a go. So let's just put some of this in. In fact, I might just go one level down with that. So this is where I'm picturing the entrance to be. You can see... Right around here, you walk in, bam, got this beautiful window, or maybe not too big, but a window up there, a very quaint looking place. That's what we're looking for, for something 
warm and cozy that if, if there was a traveler, the traveler comes around here, stops in here. That's what, what we're trying to do there. And I, I have been thinking about names for this place because, of course, a few episodes ago, I asked, what do you guys think would be a cool name for the city or for the village, the town? The village. Village is the one we want to go for. And one of the one of the names that came up, which is what we are actually going to be naming, using for this. So I, I am being a little bit sneaky. You see, I said for the town, but there are some pretty cool names. So I'd like to actually give some of these a go. And by the way, I'm going to go for Birch in the, in the main frame of this. And I'm going to do something against my better judgment. And I'm going to be doing this without any, uh, any depth over here. Is the sun going down? I feel like it is. Okay, so enough about that. There's the name. The name is... Traveler's Knoll, and, and it was one of the names that was suggested for this town, but I, I felt, I felt at least for me, that this town wasn't just about travelers, so I thought, you know, let's, let's just do something a little bit different, and, and I honestly, I heard that Traveler's Knoll, and I was like, that sounds like an, a, a place, like a tavern or a pub, and, uh, and this is pretty much where I decided I would use it, so we're gonna use it for this one here, and uh, for people who don't know what a, a knoll is, K-N-O-L-L, -L, because English makes sense, right? Uh, that is a hill, just like a little mound. When, when I think of a, a knoll, I think of like a, a mound myself. Uh, and that's what it is. So just a little mound. Think about that. Uh, now, what I'm going to do here, by the way, is we're going to have to hide this ugliness over here with maybe something like that and there. And I'm going to have to do this in the end, which I actually had prepared for with one of these. Very convenient. So we'll, we'll just put that in there. And now, yeah, we're on the, on the right level. So that's that's what we're gonna name this pub, and I thought that was a really cool name. And by the way, for for credit in the in the comments section, that goes to Matt Bomb, the the person who suggested that name. Matt, that was fantastic, man. So that's what we're gonna be using in the world. And besides that, I just I like to I like to get a lot of a lot of input from other sources than just myself, because of course it's it's easy enough to just be building a world on YouTube without without thinking much about anything else, but, but you're on YouTube, you know, we, we may as well do some cool stuff. We may as well get some advice from people other than myself because else we won't get uh, get very far. <laughs> so so that's the reason why I thought it will be great to go ahead and, and, and start getting names in. And I'll be completely honest with you, I am absolutely terrible with coming up with names. So I'll leave it up to the experts, which, uh, which are you guys, of course. So let's just get these in. You know what I am good at? I'm, I'm good at actually building something and uh, and getting distracted. Those are two things. So let's have a look at that. Perfect, perfect. I think we can work with this. So let's, well, I know we can work with this. It's, uh, it's pretty simple now what we have to do to make this place look better. First thing is grab a door. Second thing is grab some trap doors and also some oak because that's what we've used before. And we're gonna make this an interesting little window. Let's go down there. And we're gonna make an interesting little window over here where we've got the the window over there We've got the doorway over here and some interesting shapes to these and I, I think you, you guys will see very soon What, what we're gonna get up to I, I don't know if I can explain this. Oh, I also realized one other thing we forgot There we go. There's the dark oak fences. I forgot those So what we want to do is we want to put these in here for the same sort of windows what we did before now Can I get up? I can fantastic. So we'll put them in one two grab our oak which we are using for the windows like that i mean is that actually too tall i think it'll be all right maybe maybe i feel like that's ah you know what we'll, we'll just go for it we'll just wing it and see what happens uh but i i get the feeling that might be a bit too tall but we'll, we'll see how it goes so they're in there and these in around like that i'll get the rest of it and just some of this we should start seeing the place start to come together very quickly now like that and drop down Pop the door in. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. So here's what I, what I want to do with this to make this fit in a little bit nicer than what it currently does. We'll jump up and grab out some of these. And this is where we can just go ahead like that and there. And in fact, this will probably line up perfectly to go around there. And how do I do that? One lower, like here. And there, and maybe something like this. These are just the, the basics before we can actually get it working in here. So how does that look? Wonderful. Kind of like a little mustache over there. Kind of homely, I think. Uh, what I want to do now is, is I'm going to step away, and I want to just put in small details that I'll be able to point out 
uh, to you guys what, I, what I've done here. Now, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of building in this way where we, we kind of step away, step back. But sometimes with these larger things, it's a little bit easier. And I've, I've tried to try to get as much of it in here today. So you guys who I'm well aware are following along in the world, which is super, super cool, are able to follow along as well. And also, of course, if you guys, uh, if you guys are interested in the building thing, still gain something from that without me having to do it over like four episodes because I mean really four episodes on this will I could really do one on the roof <laughs> we'll be I'll be completely honest there's just so much we could do we could do one whole episode just on the roof but uh, I want to move through it so we'll we'll do that and there you have it pretty simple look now this is not where we're going to finish this of course we've got a lot of other stuff which I want to add to this but it's going to require us to go through a few more things a, a bit more progress in the game to get everything that we do need uh, but just just take it in, take a look. I've, I've gone through adding in a few little details, for instance, these little feet, because of course we did leave this out on the same level as the, the actual support, which as I said, is, is quite uncharacteristic, but having it out like that and then putting something in place of giving it that depth, it tends to work quite well. So that's what that did fantastically. And of course these little feet here help a little bit more, a little bit more here, just, just general stuff. Get rid of that. Just general things around there, which I, I think just all tend to work together Quite nicely, and and then this over here is all just temporary. There, we've put in some more more coral. I'm I'm really loving the coral, by the way. I, I don't know who else has been using the coral. If you guys have been using them a lot, but I can definitely see myself using a lot more of this stuff. How much do I have there? Two, eleven, seven. Okay, good. That should be enough for what I want to do. And maybe maybe we'll just uh, be sneaky and grab some of that and just be a little bit more frugal and take some of this around here. Wonderful. Just to, just to save a little bit. Because of course, of course, uh, resources are still kind of expensive for me. In fact, I've taken this series so far. I mean, what are we up to? Episode number seven, which uh, by the way, is has gone so quickly so far, guys. So thank you so much for joining me, by the way. It's, it's, it's actually been a blast so far. Uh, but just going ahead and, and doing this sort of stuff, just slowly building stuff, not really worrying too much about getting to the end game as fast as possible. Uh, it's actually been quite enjoyable and it's, I mean, I know a lot of people have played the game quite a bit and probably are in the same sort of boat as myself where, where you end up having done this so many times. Oh, I've got the wrong one there. You end up having done this so many times that you you know exactly how to rush everything. You know how to rush to the nether, get, get everything you need in the nether, go for your ender dragon fight and bam, you're good. But taking it slow, I, I would, I'd give you guys a, a little bit of a, a hint. It's actually a really good time. I, I've I've been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this, and uh, and just in general, just getting a, getting a, a bit of transformation in a village. Just something simple like this has been so so enjoyable. Uh, so what I want to do here? Let's just go up here quickly, and I want to start messing around a little bit with these blocks. So getting the the dead coral blocks involved with some of these other things. There we go. Okay, so that's the start. Here is here is what I've I've gathered from it, which I think could be the way we're going to use these. If we can use these with cobblestone and maybe some stone in a very kind of even number, this this block's going to bug out eventually. Uh, in a very even number, like for instance, we we mix them in together without without much of a gap. I think what will happen is we'll start seeing them on a bigger picture coming together. Listen to that sound. I love the sound of the placing the coral blocks. It actually sounds rather cool. And this one here, I was actually playing with in a, in a creative world just recently. And when you add these together, they can make a really neat little path. Look at that. Picture these two together right now. Wait for it. There we go. It looks like broken stone. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Just stone in general. I'm really looking forward to getting more of this coral. But I'm not too sure if there's any way to actually uh, farm coral, if that makes sense. I know I can just harvest it. I'll totally get that because that's where I got it from. But I wonder if there's a way to actually make it renewable because I feel so horrible. This this is kind of like one of those those things in real life where you like you don't want to see the <laughs> the coral in the oceans disappear. And and I feel like I'm doing the same sort of thing. I just don't want to see <laughs> see myself destroying the oceans. And I, I feel the same sort of thing here. It's horrible, but th that's all right. I'm sure we'll we'll figure out a way of getting a good amount of coral without having to travel too far away. And I'm sure if it's not renewable, I hope uh, I hope. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Maybe, maybe I should try out bone mealing one of those fans of coral. Maybe that, maybe that'll do the trick. But let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's kind of messy, but.
But I think once we get some garden in here, for instance, and then perhaps just more buildings around here, we, we should start to see it all come together a little bit more. And for my trick that I mentioned in the beginning, where I said we're going to be having a trick for more interiors, what we're going to do is we're going to be building into the ground over here. You can see there's there's all the ground because we're building into a hill. And that will give us the illusion that this place is this, this little place like this. It's only a little bit wider over there. But when you walk in, you walk into the ground being pushed back like five blocks that way. And you don't you don't notice that you've trans, trans, uh, transitioned from this very small thing to a very big thing. That's at least the plan that I'm going for. So what I think we'll do is we will go ahead and call that a solid episode. Now, I hope you guys are still enjoying what we're getting out here. I've, I've been thoroughly loving what we've done so far, as I say, and, and I've been been enjoying just doing things a little bit differently. So thank you so much for the support, guys. Super appreciate it, and uh, love to see you guys are enjoying it. And of course, that's everything for today, guys, and I will see you very, very shortly.